Hey, what's up there boys and girls? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. No real reviews or anything, but we are going to feature a couple of tools and we're going to be doing some work here at work that I'm usually not ready to do. Uh, we're actually going to be working on a trailer today. Not really my forte. We're going to be doing some grinding, doing some welding, showing a couple of the tools that I like to use for that, and then you guys can make fun of my welding skills on top of that. Stay tuned. So if you guys have been tuned into the channel for any amount of time, you know that we've got a big project coming up, one that I have not announced as of yet. So in order to bring that one to light, we have got a new vehicle coming to the channel coming up in the next week and a half or so. I'm actually picking it up next weekend, so I'm not sure when videos might fall out on that one. But in order to pick that one up, I do need a trailer. So a buddy of mine here at the dealership has got one of these nice Tana Maximal trailers. However, it is in need of a little bit of repair. So to be able to help him out in doing that, we're going to be doing some fender replacement, which is some steel work on it. They're not bolt on or anything. They're actually welded on. So we're going to be grinding them off and getting all the welds all clean and everything and then um, welding on some new fender covers there for these. So going to be some fun. We're going to see what we're going to use with this. Hopefully I don't botch it up too bad, but eh, we'll see. So the first thing we're going to be doing before we get into maintenance stuff is actually getting to cutting these fenders out. So we've got to pretty much cut all of our welds off here. Uh, the new ones, as you can see, don't come with the back splash lining on them. So we have to save what we have there. All these just have about three inch um, strips of weld all the way down. So we're going to have to grind all of those off. As you can see, the old rust belt got a hold of these. So these fenders are kind of Swiss cheese. And when somebody puts a car into it, that doesn't help either. So we might have to do a little bit of bendification here on this steel. So we're going to use this uh, grinder that I got from Milwaukee this last week. This is the M8. Big Johnson grinder here for you. Uh, runs up to 10,000 RPM, so we're going to get some cutting wheels on that. See how it works, see how long a fully charged battery lasts on top of that. Uh, get these things all ground off. So obviously when you're doing grinding like this, safety's first. Wear yourself some safety goggles so you're not putting on your safety squints trying to not get splashed up by all this freaking flying metal. Uh, the other thing safety wise is make sure your grinder does have all the shields to them. The coolest thing I love about this new Milwaukee grinder is that this shield is able to move. So it's got this little interlock button right here. So it doesn't matter what angle you're at, you're always going to be able to put the shield in the correct angle that it needs to be in. Push the little button and this thing can interlock at any point all the way around the tool so it's always in a place wherever you want to be able to put it. The handle is very nice ergonomic just blow molded plastic grip to it pretty nice and even. Safety trigger also is right here in the front just gets pushed down works just like so. Alright let's get some grinding. So even after just a couple of quick seconds of grinding, you know, like 30 seconds or so, you can see that we've pretty much cut through over half of the welds and the seam that we have here holding this fender on. So this is actually going to go a lot quicker than I thought. This Milwaukee grinder, this thing's a pretty beastly tool, definitely. So we're going to get some more grinding here. Uh, hopefully I can grind off the inside welds here without messing up the inner part of the fender too much.
like I said, easily interlockable handle here, able to go to a totally different angle. of random little cutting here we've been able to get pretty much most of the fender off here on the front side that'll make it nice and easy for us to get the other one put on just got to finish cutting up the rest into little pieces and getting it kind of cut off from the little welds on the back side so after approximately 32 minutes of pretty much Mosley grinding full tilt we have one battery dead so 30 minutes or so. I think that's a pretty decent amount of grinding for a big M18 grinder. So I think I may have also underestimated how long these cutting wheels will last. We are through battery number two. It was, it pretty much kept on dying out. And as you can see, cutting wheels, uh, kind of gone so I'm gonna have to go get more of those it's kind of a good time I was wondering how well this thing was uh, holding up heat wise and it looks like well let the snap-on gun calibrate we're at like 174 175 degrees right up in here so almost 200 degrees at the head this thing is screaming and that's going through two of the M18 batteries straight so probably a good idea after two batteries of work to let this thing cool down a bit we would say so but yeah i'd say that's uh that's pretty impressive i like the tool it's hanging up for uh what i'm doing and beating and abusing on it all right so everything is kind of all ground down and i got the fender fit into place pretty much where i want it to be everything's all ground down set you guys back up here and have a look at our Lincoln Power MIG 260 is the welder that we're going to be using today. Uh, got it set in here. It's got a million settings that I don't really fully understand because I'm not a welder. But from the guys that I asked, this is going to be close to the setting that we want to put it on for this one. We'll check the feed. We'll check the gas. We'll see how uh, it kind of feeds through for about an inch of this and see where we're at. too hot way too hot burnt a hole strike one on my part now that one's looking quite a bit better we'll start there and then we'll see how we do So I'm not really proud of my welding skills, nor do I, you know, claim to be any kind of welder. And, you know, who knows? I'm sure I'm, I'll get a whole lot of comments saying, you know, my five-year-old could weld better than that. But you know what? They probably could, but you know what? This will hold good enough for this application. It's, I guess, a grinding welder kind of application. So grind it down, I bet you it'll look a whole lot better, but it'll still hold. All right, this side went a little bit better, but you know, still looks like a five-year-old did it. It'll still hold. Gonna send it. Sending it all the way. Get it all rattle canned. I'd have to say though, this side looks a whole lot better than the other side that's still kind of like Swiss cheese or what came off of this side. Yeah, can't be any worse. Now the other side, I actually uh, kind of figured out how to weld again, you know, at least a little bit. Got the machine dialed in, looks a little bit better. Maybe up to 10 year old status, a little less than five year old, maybe 10 year old status. I don't know, what do you guys think? 
<laughs> well, after a little bit of Saturday morning work, I don't think that turned out too bad. Got a little bit of rattle can good action done on it. Got the inside of the fenders all taken care of. Seams all sealed up as well as put some RTV and stuff on the seams on the inside before we painted that one too. Well, I mean, that one fender makes the whole rest of the trailer look kind of like crap, but I mean, 12 year old Ohio salt truck trailer, what do you expect? It'll last another five, 10 years or so, ish. All right, so what did we learned today? We learned, number one, that Rust Belt can't weld. I mean, I already knew that, but now you know that for sure. And make fun of me all you want, but it is what it is. And then second thing we learned today is that the uh, Milwaukee M18 grinder, this thing's a bad beast right here. Gets the job done even up through like 175, 180 degrees, keeps on ticking. Went through uh, three batteries in total for all of the cutting, grinding, putting the fender on, and then regrinding all the welds and everything. So I don't think that was all of that bad for you know what this tool is and what it does. Went through two cutting wheels and one grinding wheel on it. So also pretty decent, I'd have to say on that one. Well, that's about all the information I've got for you today. If you guys have any other questions, please leave those down in the comments below. We've got some great content coming up. Like I said, the trailer, it's gonna be picking up the project vehicle coming next weekend or so. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. Hit that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool, awesome content just like this and cool things coming up. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, you guys stay awesome.